And the other thing I found fascinating about all this, 94, Nemesis was constructed, uh, the big one was constructed, and now in 2018, that's kind of happening again. You've mm. kind of got those two parks going mm. toe to toe. Yeah. Um, how excited are you about both of those kind of new rides? You've got this Mac Mega Coaster coming to Blackpool, obviously. Yeah, and and it'll be a it'll be a great <coughs> ride and very very different to what Orton Towers are building. The the two parks can can work very happily together. Um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach is a is a fantastic park. It really is. It's never sat back on its laurels and just put standard rides in. All the rides there are are special and unique. Um, It's a family-run operation. Um, It it, it has a very different atmosphere to Alden Towers. Um, Its it's rides are different in character. They can do things that Alden Towers can't do in terms of scale and and, and particularly height. Um, So... Orton Towers have to think outside the box. Um, that it's not just a case of building a roller coaster, giving it a funny name, working out what colour you're going to paint it, uh, and and marketing it. It has to be a much more immersive experience, which is what the next new ride at Orton Towers is going to be. It is going to be a very immersive experience. Um, it's not just the ride transit system as such. Um, so the two rides, yes, uh, they will be will be opening head to head, and I think that they will will sit very happily together within the marketplace. That you designed, I think, two wooden coasters for Orton Towers in the past. Is there any part of you that wishes you were a bit more involved, or they were using one of your old plans, or this this, this Woody issue, and it, and it, and it's and it's always popping up <clears throat> after. After we did, um, let me let me get the dates right. After we did the vampire at Chessington, uh, I predicted, if you like, that <clears throat> the wooden coasters were going to actually get a resurgence, a revival in 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 interest. They were starting to be built around the states. The Big Dipper at Blackpool was a fabulous ride. The Grand National at Blackpool was a fabulous ride. And I thought, we, we need to keep this in the back of our minds. And <clears throat> at, at the time, um, after we had acquired Alton Towers, um, I said to Ray Barrett, who was the... Uh, main board director of Madame Tussauds responsible for theme parks who I was I was uh, uh, answerable to I said I think we should look into wooden coasters and he said fine okay but then along came Nemesis and uh, and that kept us quite sort of occupied so I said to her, I still think we, 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 need to, we need to get some expertise. And I know a park down in West Wales who I've been very involved in, uh, Oakwood Park. They are looking for a big new ride. I think a wooden coaster would be ideal for them. Would you mind if I worked with them on it? And he said, no problem, by all means. So I talked them through it, and I took William McNamara uh, from Oakwood over to the States, and we went to Kennywood, and we went to Cedar Point, and we rode the Woodies, and it was a no-brainer. He said, this is what I want, and I said, the beauty of this is, William, a hell of a lot of this, you, you can build yourselves. You get it designed by the specialists, they will provide you with, with all the specialist equipment, you can even source the timber yourself. They'll provide a team of carpenters that you can augment with your local carpenters. You will be able to build uh, a ride that in theory would cost many, many millions of pounds for probably half that. And he said, right, you're on. So I got in touch with um, Custom Coasters. Uh, together we walked the site we designed a layout and profile, and Megaphobia was built, um, and proved a big, big success. And then when it came to 
98, uh, I thought, well, maybe this is the time we build the woody for Alton Towers. Perfect, it's a wood, woodland setting, you know, great. But then my work with B&M, it was decided, no, we, we do um, Oblivion. About that time, we had developed Port Aventura in Spain. Phase one was complete. We needed a big new ride for phase two. And the racing coaster at Kennywood, and of course the, the Grand National at Blackpool, I, I loved those rides. The idea of, of the race, the competition and so on. And I felt that it would possibly be uh, the right kind of ride for Port Aventura. But again, a, as I always try and do, I wanted to put a twist in it. I wanted to do something a bit different. And I came up with the idea of the racing trains entering a tunnel. And when you emerge from that tunnel, the competing track is still parallel to you. But instead of the train being there racing with you, it suddenly comes in the opposite direction straight at you. And then you go back into another tunnel and the race continues. How to do that was very complicated, but I worked with, with, with custom coasters on that. And again, it was a very successful ride. So when it came to uh, the next big ride at Alton, I designed a Woody. And it would have been a fabulous, fabulous Woody. But the marketing people, understandably, if, when you're building, designing a project that's going to cost you many, many millions of pounds and you're, you're, you know, you're answerable to finances and so on, they want market research done. And so they commission market research and boy, oh boy, did Wood Coast a bomb badly. It, they're old-fashioned, they're unsafe, they're this, they're that. And they said, sorry, you know, it's not going to work. How on earth are we going to market that? How are we going to market a wooden coaster? I said, well, but they're wonderful things. Ride them. They're great fun. As soon as, as, soon as you've got the first year over with and everybody is talking about it, and everyone's been on the ride saying it's absolutely fabulous, you've got to ride that ride at Alton Towers. They said, yes, but we can't afford to wait a year. We want that ride to be a mega success on day one. So, um, air was built. But I wasn't going to let it go. And I did, I designed three woodies for all time. I was absolutely convinced that once it was built, it would be a big success. But my dream never came true.